Westman Arena is the place to be to catch the UWS men's hockey team in action, but they've found a new audience on TikTok where they've been able to reach millions of people. The John Berger Sled Dog Marathon is just around the corner, and while teams across the country are getting ready for the races, here in Two Harbors, it's just another day at the office for the Wallens. Santa Claus has came to town today, or Wild State Cider, for the second annual Wild Santa Run, which had over 400 racers to help bring in the holiday. In an effort to recreate a game day atmosphere, the Minnesota Wild brought along their in arena announcer, their national anthem singer, and every fan in attendance got this spotlight rally towel. Hey Alexandra, the shooting happened right behind me here on the 200 block of Central Avenue South this morning in Chisholm. And right now the details are still limited, including which department the, fi the police officer who fired the shot was from. Police found a 9mm handgun next to the suspect's body. And the Duluth Police Department are also offering support services to those who responded to the scene. The investigation is ongoing for the murder-suicide. And Alexandra, we spoke to a couple of the neighbors earlier today who are visibly disturbed by by the events that happened here yesterday, saying they remember the family just out in their yard or even just buying Girl Scout cookies from the daughters just a month ago. Thanks, Armand. While well, the tragic loss of the Barry family and their dog has weighed heavy on friends and family, it's also traumatizing to many of the officers who responded to this scene. Local health experts are saying it's important anyone affected knows and utilizes the local support services available to them. Tactical response teams are on scene right now, Armand, and last we heard, the suspect inside does have a high-powered rifle on him, so they really do encourage people staying away from the scene now. A program that's been going on for years is coming full circle here at Denfeld tonight for one young athlete. Back in the summer, a group of women's college hockey head coaches laid out their proposal to expand the playoff field for the NCAA Women's Hockey Tournament. Well, the NCAA turned down this proposal, so this week the movement was taken to social media. A recent fatal event on the ice involving a 16-year-old Connecticut hockey player is bringing renewed awareness to the Northland about the importance of neck guards in the sport of hockey.